voice for everyone. You're watching KSHB 41 News. New Beginning Ministry sits in an easy to miss strip mall in Grandview. Easy to miss, if not for the bounce house outside the building Saturday. But inside, there was a boy on a mission. KSHB 41 photojournalist Jake Weller introduces us to a nine-year-old who has a message to share. Nine-year-old Saladin Bam Anderson lives with sickle cell disease. And like 100,000 other Americans, he needs frequent blood transfusions to survive. I go to the doctor every month to get to get poked by a needle every month, so I'm kind of used to it. He's been doing that since he was four years old. You don't really know what you think you know until you until it affects you. And now they have new concerns as blood donations are down across the United States. Well, last time I was at the doctor, they said that they was running out of blood. I'm often so nervous that we're going to go to a blood drive and they're going to tell us that they don't have any blood to give. So Bam, his mom, and Community Blood Center decided to host their own blood drive, spreading awareness of the disease and hopefully helping Bam just live his life. My sport is baseball. I play for two baseball teams, and I like to play soccer with my cousins and basketball. He loves outside. He does baseball, and he just enjoys what every other normal 10-year-old or 9-year-old boy loves. And he's on a mission, a mission to fight the fear of the needle. We had a little pullback. Mostly, no one likes needles. I'll say, like, we barely have blood left when we need some. He's telling everybody, I'll hold your hand for you if you want to do it. It's not that hard. He once had to convince his own father. He didn't want to do it because he was afraid of needles. Uh, I told him it will just be a tiny needle and it will be over with. And 38 tiny needles later, the Andersons came close to their goal of 40 donations. We so appreciate everyone that came out to donate. Taking time to save a life and enjoy a bounce house. Thank you for helping in need. It's really kind of you to help in need for people like me to give blood. In Grandview, Jake Weller, KSHB 41 News. Another local sickle cell patient got the chance to meet those who helped save his life. It just means a lot for me to be able to, to meet these individuals. They have given and contributed their time to the lives of, of many others. Kevin Wake met 50 of his blood donors. He needs a transfusion every six weeks to fight his sickle cell disease. In addition to thanking those who helped him, Kevin shared a message for Kansas Cityans. But also get the awareness out there that we really need blood donations um, at all times, and especially here in Kansas City. Those donations can help a lot of people. Again, around 100,000 Americans live with this disease. It's most common among black Americans. Community Blood Center says 60% of people can donate blood. Only 3% do. You know, that one hour that you take of your time to donate blood, it, it actually goes to patients, real live patients like Kevin, and it is making a difference to uh, patients all over the metro. You can help with that goal. Community Blood Center is taking donations across the area. You can find more information on how to donate through the Community Blood Center's website. Just enter your zip code and they'll give you the options.